Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem B from the latest Court Forces Round 650 Division 3 Problem B Even Array So you can read the question statements but in simple terms it states that you are given an array and the array indices start from 0 Now you have to find out so an array is good if the parity of that number on the ith number mod 2 is equal to the index on which we are. So what this means that if we are on the even index the number on that should be also even. If you are an odd index the number on that position should be odd. So okay now what you can do here is you can swap any two elements okay which are not adjacent. You can swap any two elements such that you want to make that array good. So you have to find out the minimum number of swaps required. Okay cool. So our main possibility or main observation here can be first we want to find out how many numbers are not in the correct place or how many numbers does not follow the correct parity. So I will take you to the drawing board and it will become more clear. So these are the indices because it starts from 0 it is given in the question and we are have written down the first example. Okay now the parity for this is even it means that if you mod it with 2 it is even number. But the number here is not even. So now this means that I want an even number here. So we, we will initialize three terms here even, odd and fine. How many terms are fine like they are good at their place. How many terms are we want even and how many odd we want. Okay. So now we want an even plus even here. So I add one here. Now we go on to the next place. This is an odd and we want an odd here but it is an even. So it means I want one odd also. Now it is an even, I should want an even, so I also again want an even and it is an odd but I want an odd but it is an even so I increase the mental count. So what you can see here after this traversal that for every even I want an odd and for every odd I want an even. That's why we can swap them and make them at the correct parity. Sometimes there can also be cases that it is 4 and it is even and there are also 2. So it is fine. So we can increment our fine. Okay, now if everyone is fine, then the total number of requirement is zero because everything having the same parity. Else, if the number and number of even and number of odd are same, then only we can swap them efficiently because I can swap them. It it it, it will like two will come here, three will come here, and the parity will be like going to be correct. Then I will swap them. So for swapping them, I want the number of even and number of odd will, should be same. And how many swaps are required? We, the, actually the number. Because if there are two events, then we require two swaps. They should be same, the number should be same and the number of swaps required is just the number of even or number of odd. You can print any of them. Okay, but if the number of even is greater or number of odd, if they are not equal, then we cannot efficiently swap them. Because after swapping also, there will be some thing left. Okay, so that's the main trick of this question. I'll take it on to the code now. So I can take the input of n, all the numbers, even, odd and fine. Then I will iterate over all the numbers. If the index is even, if the index is even and the number is also even, that is fine. Else if, if the number is, if the index is even and the number is not even, we will want one even number. So increment even. Else if the, if the index is odd and the number is also odd, it's fine. But if the index is odd and the number is even, we want an odd number. After going through all of this, is everything is fine. Everything is at correct place. It, fine is equal to n. Everything like the fine incre increase returns zero. If if else odd is equal to equal to even, then you can return anything odd or even. That num number of swaps are required. Else you have to return minus one. That this is not possible. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. If you like this explanation, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will posting regular videos. So stay tuned. Happy coding. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.